Shalom Aleichem guys. I'm uh, trying over and over to explain those uh, wonderful spiritual concepts of our existence here on earth. And um, I try to speak about it. It's kind of a problem, you know, but like a any book is divided to chapters and sections and paragraphs, lines, words, letters. I I'm expressing my uh, frustration from not e being able to break everything down in one shot, but on the other hand, there is no other way. And uh, probably the fact that it comes in pieces makes it um, edible, um, accessible for you guys to comprehend, to understand, to grasp more and more. So. I wanted to share a little bit more about a topic that I spoke about in the last um, few days, kind of perspective on how the world is built from an external side and um, an inner side, a revealed side and a hidden side. And um, there are many aspects to it and there are many spiritual um, reasons, purposes for it, but um, we'll try to to speak only about the most like flat and 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 simple aspect of it that I can uh, explain. So, good actions are making good results, and bad actions bringing bad results. When we do something in this world, so we're doing it with an inner and hidden intention <clears throat> and the act is being seen physically in the revealed and outside aspect of our creation but it affects again in an inner aspect means it goes from inside revealed itself outside and goes back inside if I say something so I have my intention while saying that thing it's inner but then the words coming out to the world in a way that can be heard so it's external it's a revealed side and then the person who hears those words he will get it into his mind into his ears therefore it will get back into his inner side the hidden aspect of his being now like we said, good things affecting in a positive way and negative things are affecting in a negative way. That's one. Second thing is that um, the world has balance, supposed to have balance, means that if we're going to feed, when things are growing, let's say you plant a tree. Um, when you plant the tree, so you take the seed, you can see the seed and then you're bringing it you're seeding it you're planting it into a hidden aspect of the world underground now it cannot be seen anymore now when it will grow it will grow the energy that he received from within a hidden energy all the flavor the taste the spiritual sparks that it will contain it will grow them in a way that will be seen to us physically like a tree. You're going to see the leaves, you're going to see the branches, you're going to see the fruits, you'll be able to smell, to taste, to touch um, here, but, um, but you will never be able to see the inside of the fruit. You can cut it, but there will always be inside, means the spiritual energy, the sparks that are treasured within it. Now, when we influence good means when we do good things so they are increasing the 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 goodness in the back end of the world when let's say you say good words so it sends good energy good vibes into the ears of another person and charging him with positive energy if you plant in a right way the seeds that you're supposed to plant in the place that you're supposed to plant then the fruits will come out sweet 
and powerful, uh, uh, full of uh, spiritual um, um, energy sparks that will elevate, will heal, will support, will balance, will 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 give the energy and vitamins and and all the things that are that's supposed to come out from those fruits from the trees that you planted. But if a person is doing something negative, let's say he's talking bad things, Lashonara, or that he's planting in a field that is not his, or he's stolen those seeds that he's seeding, or he's doing something wrong, the outcomes of that act will be negative, means that the energy of the words that that person heard will damage him and will damage other people that will be affected by those negative words. And also the fruits that will come, there will be a negative aspect to them, means that when a person will eat from those fruits, something negative will happen to him, something dark will will break the energy. The energy that will penetrate into the fruits of that forbidden tree will affect in a negative way on other people's um, health and spiritual development and growth. So that's the third part and important for me to say and for that thing I um, I, uh, I started talking about this issue today is that um, the truth um, is revealing itself supposed to reveal itself but the lie in the world is coming to cover the truth with false um, claim to be truths when they're really false um, assumptions, false claims. Um, now, when a person is doing something good, so the truth will come out of it. And when a person is doing something bad, so lies will come out of it. So for an example, if we are feeding the world the back end of the world with goodness so then the energy that will come out of the world will be balanced and perfect like we said and also will reflect the truth you will be able to see that by doing good deeds you have well outcomes wonderful outcomes like the story on Yitzchak for an example that he was planting um, 100 seeds and they, the plants that uh, grow in his field was 100 times more. He saw the blessing in a clear way. Jacob took his uh, animals, his deer, his um, sheep, goats, and, um, and when they multiplied, they multiplied 100 times more than they were supposed to. You could see the blessing in the herd of Jacob. Why? Because the truth revealed itself that good actions are bringing good outcomes. Now, when bad actions are taking place, so then lie takes over. Means that the back end of the world, the other side, the sitra achra, the dark side, is receiving, might even taking more energy than it should and then it can create realities that will block the truth and will pretend to be the truth but will actually be a lie so for an example um, the verse is saying on Aaron the Kohen that um, when he was um, appointed to be the main Kohen, so he, um, so Moshe put good oil, a blessed oil, pure oil, olive oil, on his head, and it came down on his beard. And the verse is saying, Kashemen Hatov Al Hazakan, as the good oil on the beard. Zekan Aharon, the beard of Aaron, Hayored Alpi Midotav, that comes down based on his traits, on his attributes. 
So you can see from that that the beard is reflecting the traits of a person and the goodness of the person, the goodness is coming down and being poured on the beard. It can be seen. The goodness of a person can be seen on his beard means the goodness of his traits is being seen on the person's beard. Now, if a person is good, like based on the explanations we explained before, if the person's midot, attributes, traits are perfect, everything is good, you'll see a perfect beard. But if the person is trimming his midot, being not perfect with his attributes, with his midot, like that it's written that there are 13 attributes of kindness, and equal to them there are 13 tikune dikna corrections that needs to be done by the beard and the Zohar Kadosh, the book of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai is showing um, similarity between those two showing that the 13 good attributes are equal to the 13 um, aspects of the beard means that a person that will be totally kind in those 13 uh, trades that he is um, commanded to follow, like being nice, being kind, being positive, being loving, respectful, and on 13 good midot, then his beard will reflect that goodness that is treasured in him. Now, if a person is cutting his midot, he's not patient enough, he's not nice enough, he's not loving enough, so his beard from the side of truth supposed to show those defects not to be long enough not to be uh, with bright color will lose its uh, shine uh, like whatever certain things should be seen on the beard to reflect the lack of attributes that um, that that person caused so the truth supposed to expose itself supposed to reveal itself show itself to the world but when the world is feeding the other side in a dark way more than it's supposed to receive and the sitra akhra the other side gets more than it should have so then it takes that extra energy in what way by the way the yetzerara will get more energy for an example if you throw good food to the garbage if you waste your money on bad things, on negative things, if you talk Lashonara, like we said, you use holy words, holy letters, and you build horrible, bad, vicious, cruel combinations from them. So like every violation, every sin, sperm for no purpose, for no reason, and words for no reason, bad things, negative things, creates, brings, deliver, God forbid, extra energy to the other side and then the other side can pretend to be truth while having energy and sources for that from those um, extra things that we wasted for no reason and then he can pretend to be the truth so then you're going to see a person god forbid the evil inclination will give the energy to an awful person that should never had beard in his life because his attributes are awful and he's never, he's never kind, he's never loving. And he was for sure not supposed to carry the holy beard on his face. And he, that person, what will the Yetzirah will do with him? Will give him a perfect beard, will give him a long beard, a, a large size beard with great colors and whatever and a person will look at him and will say to himself okay like i i see attributes i see midot i see nice things shining from that person's beard but the truth is that that person is a liar and that the yetzara the evil inclination does not um let the truth to be revealed and it's blocking and shading on the damaged, damaged uh, chin and face of a person with a fake or non-worthy or not supposed to be their um, beard. So a person will go with that beard and will pull people to follow him because they will believe that he is reflecting goodness and nice traits and attributes, but actually he will lead them to foreign places, to dark places. 
This is the way the Sitra Acha works, pretends to show goodness while really pulling the person in a trap to evil places. So be careful, search for the truth, don't follow fake beards and fake masks, and just be positive and honest, and Hashem will bless us all. Amen.